Hello fellow survivors and welcome to a special challenge called Breakfast at Forsaken Airfield, a community event created by Tash Dominion and promoted by Long Dark Forever, a streamer you probably are aware of because this is actually a tournament event, a tournament that I did not take part of but I'm doing it just for the fun of it. And it's a challenge that's similar to Hopeless Rescue where you have to go from one location to another with an item. In this case, you have to make breakfast freshly made on the island cottage in Forsaken Airfield. Well, that doesn't sound so hard, does it? Well, there's a few little things to this though that makes it actually quite difficult. First off, uh, you have to spawn in Ash Canyon for this challenge and you have to make it all the way to Forsaken Airfield and make the breakfast fresh. The second thing is you have to do this within 48 hours, so two days in game. So you only have 48 hours to spawn and then make your way all the way to Forsaken Airfield alive along with all the ingredients you need for breakfast. Now the last thing is, well, what is the breakfast? Well, the breakfast is four portions of porridge, four portions of pancake and four coffees. Doesn't sound too hard, but you need certain ingredients for this and that actually is a bit tricky. And you need to find these ingredients along the way. Now all the ingredients require water, but in addition, porridge requires oats that you can only find in certain locations. The pancakes require syrup, cooking oil and flour, and also that you are cooking level two. And coffee, of course, just require water, but you still have to find the coffee and make it on the island. And coffee is the difficult one because it has a lot of randomness to it. It can spawn in places like Signal Hill or a Pleasant Valley Farm or Camp Office, but it may not spawn any of those places. So you're a bit at the mercy of randomness. There are certain guaranteed locations, but you can't go to all of them in, if you want to make it there in time. You're also not allowed to go to the summit in this challenge because then that would be too easy. Now, this actually presents a lot of challenges because getting there in time is quite difficult. But in addition, you have to find these items. And what most people do is that they grind this challenge. They do it again and again and again and restart until they get the good loot and the good weather and as many coffees as possible and they make the coffees and they run. However, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it the Zack way, which is completely different because I'm not going to try and do this as fast as possible. I'm just going to see if I can do it in 48 in-game hours and I'm going to do it a completely different way. So let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm instead going to do micro harvesting to level up to cooking level three as fast as possible. And once I'm cooking level three, you can make rose hip pies and they basically are coffees. And then you just eat those pies and you run to Forsaken Airfield. And that's what this video is about. It's me spawning in Ash Canyon, micro harvesting until I get to cooking level three and then making my way to Forsaken Airfield and making breakfast there, porridge, pancakes and coffee. And all of this has to be done in 48 hours and this was quite difficult, especially on interlope, but it was a fun, unique thing to do. Quite a few funny things happened along the way, and I had quite low health throughout the journey as well. And I also made some bad puns here and there. We only produce Sakna Fine Dining. Oh my god, that was a terrible one. So yeah, this is quite a fun challenge to do. Let's get to it, and let's make some breakfast. Hello fellow survivors and welcome to a special community challenge called Breakfast at Forsaken Airfield or BFA where you have to bring certain items to Forsaken Airfield all the way from Ash Canyon and basically make breakfast there and that's quite challenging because well in essence it sounds easy you just have to bring a few items because you have to make porridge you have to make pancakes and coffee of course, you have to find ingredients for these things, which isn't too hard. But the challenge is you have to get there in 48 hours or two days, which means you have to basically constantly travel. You're probably going to get cold and it's quite difficult to do. But also you want to do it as fast as possible. And doing it in 24 hours is 
very good. But doing it 48 hours is perfectly acceptable. So I'm going to try this challenge. I did not sign up for the tournament, but I'm just doing it for the fun of it. And most people do this by just doing the run again and again and again and running there as fast as they can and hoping for lots of coffee on the way so they can run more. I'm going to do it a different way. So hope you bear with and see the way I do it, which is going to be probably a stupid way, but at least it be different. So we're going to start a new run here, which is interloper, but we have to choose custom because of the spawn. So just a standard interloper. We'll choose Ash Canyon, which is our spawn. We have to spawn in Ash Canyon and take everything all the way for Saken Airfield. There's different ways or rather places you can spawn. Most people prefer the spawns down here because then they can just run immediately up to Tim Wolf Mountain. I don't want that spawn. I want this one by Angler Stands. That's the one I want. So I'm just going to tell you right now that if I don't get that spawn, I'm just going to restart and I'll edit that part out and just start the run from where it's, well, it's this one because there's a very specific reason for that and I'll explain everything. Okay, so let's hop in. We'll do Will, I guess, this time. We are not allowed any feats at all. You're not allowed uh, kind of like some certain exploits as, as well, but goating and stuff and micro harvesting is fine. So let's go. Let's hop in and see where we are at. Hey, we got it. And it's a decent time too. I mean, spawn rather. We're going to go up there. So let's go. Decent weather. It's morning. It's cold, but the weather's decent. Oh, hello, Wolfie. More Wolfies over there. They're all coming to get a bite. Which is fine. Grab some of these for Tinder. Let's go. This is a pretty good start because it's day or so, so... Got Tinder. Okay, let's go. Run, run, run. Got this one too. And then I want some stones. There's usually some stones over here. There we are. And then we're going to Anglistan. Here we're going to get some matches. Yeah, went to pick that up. Oh, lucky we got the flare spawn. We don't need that, but it's handy. And here we got matches. If we're lucky, we get two matches. Matches are over here. Right there. Take the book. Gloves, that's handy. Uh, take the books. Uh, take the oil. We might need that. Dog food, yeah, you never know. Uh, we don't really need anything else. Cloth we can take. We're warm here, but that's all right. We now need to make, we actually need to make a fire. Oh, we got extra matches. Hello, look at that. Okay, we're actually gonna, going to make a fire here uh, because we need torches. Uh, because we need them against the wolves. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. So... What we're going to do now, we're going to grab some torches and we're going to go off to Foreman's Retreat. So most people who do this do not go there. They just rush out of there and into Timwolf Mountain as fast as we can. But we're not going to do that. We're going to go up to Foreman's Retreat because there's a skillet there. Isn't that interesting? So we're going to do it completely differently. Now to start making some water, even though we don't really need to. And we're going to grab these. And grab these. Oh wow, these are really bad torches. Take this for tinder as well. And take this for fire starting. Okay, take that, take that. And let's light a torch. Not many torches actually. And then I just need to very quickly save this. I'll be right back. Go back in and we're saving. Two seconds. Okay. All right. Okay, off we go. <laughs> Sometimes I record and we put the baby baby to bed and then he wakes up right away, right after. 
Okay, so we're gonna go pretty much up there. No, wait, up there, that's it. That's what we wanna do is we're gonna go up to Foreman's Retreat. We wanna get the skillet that's there. And then the plan is we're going to level up cooking to level three as fast as possible. So normally the way this challenge is done is you just spawn as close to Tim Wolf Mountain as you can, which is not this spawn. And then you uh, run there and just try and make it beeline it to Forsaken Airfield and hope you get coffee along the way. You also need river oats, but river oats um, are not that big a deal. You can find them in Jesse's Hall in Forsaken Airfield. Uh, but the thing is that in order to make a good time there, you have to find multiple tins of coffee, and that's pretty much random. Well, let's take the randomness out of that. Let's. It's a bit boring, in my opinion, to restart again and again and again. Like, do a challenge, restart, restart, because you didn't get coffee or the right conditions or whatever. Let's make it a bit more different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to level up cooking to level 3 as fast as I can. And the reason I want to do that is because at cooking level 3, you can make rosehip pie and also peach pie which gives you stamina back just like coffee so then you can effectively make your own coffee isn't that neat so we're going to do that and the way we're going to do that is we need to micro harvest which is allowed in this challenge just harvest as much as possible from uh found carcasses as well as rabbits as we need to grab a few rabbits and that sort of thing and then get to level three as fast as we can. It's gonna light a new one right away because this torch is dying. So that's what we're going to do. Need to get past this wolf nest first. Okay. I think we are pretty good. That's what we're going to do. And just by leveling up cooking, we need to cook roughly a hundred items for that to happen. You need to get cooking level two regardless for this challenge, because you need to be cooking level two to make the pancakes, I think it is. Uh, which require, what does that require? 25 things to cook, I think. So might as well do another 70. So we're gonna micro harvest. We're gonna do that by grabbing some rabbits, uh, grabbing some carcasses here and there, and again get to cooking level three. But there's a couple of problems with that. One is that it takes a long time. You gotta actually get to cooking level three, which is a little bit, ugh, it's a little bit of pain. So um, that's gonna take a little bit of time. And then the question, of course, is is it worth it to do that? Let's not get cold. So let's take all of this off. I'm going to light it again on the other side. Okay, put this back on. Grab the coal that's over here. Oh, no coal this time, but this wood. We need to make another fire soon. But that's one problem that you um, you take some time to actually level up to level three. So there's a question whether that's worth it, of course, compared to just hoping to find coffees, which is definitely faster. But the other thing is that you need a skillet to make these rosehip pies. Now for this challenge, you need a skillet to make the pancakes too. And you can definitely get that. There's always a skillet in um, in uh, camp office. So you'll find a skillet for sure in this challenge on the way to Forsaken Airfield. There can be a skillet in the farm in Pleasant Valley, but it's not guaranteed. It seems to be a rare spawn, if anything. So that's something that's not really worth uh, messing about. Here's our first micro harvest. So 
Uh, but there is one in the performance retreat. Or at least there can be one. But even if there isn't one, it's not a very long journey. So we can just restart. And then we can uh, just continue from there. And once we have what we need, we well. get to cooking level three. Okay. This is frozen partially, but that's okay. We'll do like this. Cook that first. Is there anything else? We want to make a bandage because we don't have uh, any bandages and we might get sprains. That's done. Make some more water. Uh, almost thought that they need water to make the stuff anyway. There we go. And let's grab all of this. We need some more torches as well. Uh, so let's just grab a couple while we're at it. That's good. Should be matches in Formas Retreat. Wow, that was a bad torch. I think we'll actually harvest that one because that was an atrocious torch. Grab one more torch. Let's see if... Um, let's see if this deer is forward. Almost. Not quite. Let's see here. Uh, anything else to do? This can just be like that. And then, uh, what else have we got? I think we're doing all right. So we got enough tinder. Looking okay, actually. Yeah, we are. This just needs to fall. Uh, is there anything at all we can do while this falls? I don't think so. Grab more torches, I guess. That's pretty much it. Grab some more torches. Really bad torches, but we'll have to do. And then we're going to put on this, a couple of these, and I think that's it. Then we just wait for this to fall, because I can't really do anything. Okay, two seconds. Okay. So I have all the pauses, that's family life for you. It's two percent. And we got two of these, we got these. Okay, I think we are looking quite good now. Yeah. And I start harvesting, and we want to micro-harvest this. Get little pieces. And we want to cook these pieces too. Ideally, I want to make another fire. I'm going to pick this up. Because then it's faster to do this. I'm going to micro harvest most of this day and then we'll just follow up on it later. The only thing is, I would prefer to mm, cook stuff after I get tired. It's the only thing. But um, it's kind of hard to avoid because the alternative is that I run around a lot of meat and um, I might as well cook things while I harvest it because I need to harvest, oh god, well, that didn't work. Uh, whatever animals I can find. So this, that I found a deer now with almost two kilos is fantastic. However, um, a wolf that sometimes spawns is fine. Rabbits are fine. Ptarmigan is fine. A wolf to hunt the deer is fine. All sorts of things. Alright. That did it. Put a piece of coal on here. Boil dry. Might as well do that. Down that. Down that. And of course there's a trick to doing this uh, in a way where you get the most out of it, which isn't necessarily how I'm succeeding in this. Because ideally you want to make pieces that are zero point uh, five kilos, and I'm not necessarily doing that. But we do what we can. Let's cook these as much as we can. Oh my god, wow. Yeah, that one, thank you. And here we can just drop all of this. I don't think we'll be eating any of this stuff. Uh, 11 minutes. Okay, we're gonna put on one coal on each. Let's keep going. 
We're not going to get to cooking level uh, 5 with these ones. We can get pretty close. I make it that. There we are. Let's make one more water. I think we can only really do maybe one or two more pieces. Yeah, one. And then we might as well eat this while it's cooking. As it's something. And then we just go. And then we level quite a bit. Not quite level 3. Oh, these are really bad torches. That's better. How far do we get, actually? Almost level 2. I'm hoping to get... Uh, it's further. Oh, another flare. Now I can run again. Now we'll grab some rabbits and repeat. So we already spent quite a bit of time getting here. So as you can see, it takes a lot of time. Okay. Save again. Let's grab these quick. I need to save the game quick, sorry. Okay. Let's continue. Now, there's one... I'm not carrying any meat, am I? Oh, I am. Well, I'm not going to carry those. We have one obstacle in front of us here, which is Boris the Bear. He guards this path, and he will not be happy to see us if he is right in the middle. It would be nice if he's out. It's the middle of the day, so he should be out. This is one of those awkward bear spawns. There's only one bear in Ash Canyon, but it's right there in a transition. I don't have any meat, so I should be able to sneak past him regardless, but... Oh, yeah, you can hear him. He's out. He is out walking. We can't really... Can we actually take it this way? I never thought of doing that. That's something that's... that's uh, I'm not sure the day is the day to try that out. It's the thing, though. But he is here. Here he is. Uh, we'll just drop this torch and crouch, I think. Mm, actually, no, that's not going to work. That's going to kill some time. Because he's right in the way. Let's see, though. If I go here... Let's see, can I can go that way? Hi there. I don't think I can get up there. See if he bugs out. He bugged out, yeah. Exactly what I was hoping for. Get him to bug out and flee so I can get past. Alright, we used half our stamina already, so we're approaching the point where we need to start making food. We'll grab roll sips for roll sip pies. Now, I personally don't think this challenge can be done this way. Or, or, me, or rather, it, it can be done this way for sure. But I don't think it will be faster this way. I think the fastest way to do this is the default vanilla way. Which is to just run straight there and hope you get coffee. You will most likely find coffee in Signal Hill. It's usually coffee there. But there are small chances of getting coffee in places like um, the Mountaineers Hut, the Pleasant Valley Farm, 
Um, even camp offers can have it. Trappers can have it, I think. Is that ptarmigans? I think it is. We can grab one ptarmigan. Can't grab more because they'll just flee. Wait. I'm so cold. What? That was right on the nose. Oh. So much for that. <laughs> if you find a hacksaw, you can also open a container uh, in Timwolf Mountain that has uh, coffee. And also in this challenge, you're not allowed to go to the summit, which also has coffee. Right, so here we are. The skillet is right there. We got flour, we got salt, uh, we got potatoes. We don't need, but we'll take them. And uh, yeah, we'll pick this stuff up, I suppose. Recipe, which we don't need. Shoes, might need those. Uh, wait, so we don't need that. Let's quickly check here. I'll take that, I guess. Yeah, we got the skillet. That's what we came for. All right. The shoes better. They are not better. All right. We are cold, so I think we should just go. It usually matches here too, isn't it? No? Hmm. Well, I guess it can be matches then. Oh, I missed it. Well, we got matches anyway, so let's go. We're cold, but that's all right. We can be cold for a little while. Shame I didn't get a ptarmigan, but well. Then we're going to go across the bridge. There's different things we could do now. But I'm going to go across the bridge, grab a few rabbits, and go down to... Um, thingy place. What should we call it? I think it's called Homesteaders Respite. I think it's called. You can usually find some rabbits here, and very often there's a carcass. So we're gonna do that. So far, this is looking good, but it takes time. I think we already used like six in game hours or something. So there's. I don't think, even if you do this flawlessly, or even if there's another way to do this, which is you hope to get the skillet that's in Pleasant Valley Farm. And then you could just do that. You can go there and uh, cook these pies. But I think, in my opinion, it's never going to be faster than just finding coffee and being lucky. But at least this way you take the randomness out of the equation. I do like that part. You know, it's a different kind of approach to speedrunning. Now, the way I harvest also and cook is probably not the optimal way. You definitely can improve that for sure. But uh, I'll take it for now. Need some more stones because I do want to pick up any rabbits that I see. And there should be some rabbits here. I'm going to go to... Homesteaders, where there's uh, some good clothing. There's usually some rabbits here. Let's see if they're still here. Can't believe I didn't hit that tom again. Really looked like I hit him. Guess not, though. Let's see, there's that. There's usually rabbits there. Usually. Not today then, I guess? Alright. Guess we grab rabbits in Tim Wolf Mountain then instead. Yeah, I guess so. There's probably some in the high meadows, but... We're going to go down to Homestead's uh, Respite because that's faster and also don't have to climb down the rope. We should do by going this way I here. No, if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. This way. Do, 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 do. I've only done this once before and it was uh, just to see if it was possible. I should easily is. 
It's uh, quite an easy go to. You can't really make a mistake because there's so many areas to go to. But uh, even if you take a wrong turn, you'll be fine. You just need to get low enough to get down here. Yeah. Oops, there's the sprain. That's why we have bandages. And then Ow. here we are. Damn, that smarts. Oh, two sprains. Oh, we have two bandages. I'm gonna wait to bandage them though until I go to down into the area below me. Oh, that hurts. I bet it did. And in here, we can find some good clothing, possibly matches. But as you can see, we spent quite a lot of time already. So this is... Is that Tarmigans? It is Tarmigans. Uh, let's just grab them. No, because I can't run. So we'll grab them later. Or after. In here, we got combat pants. Put those on. We got nothing there. It's a shame. Uh... Take the dog food and do if you want, I suppose. Pork and beans, matches. A book we can burn. First aid. Soon. Down this, sure, why not? Alright. And wood. Yeah. That's it. Good enough. We don't need the rope. Let's see if we can um, grab a tom again. Ouch! Damn, that smarts. Stop moving so much. Dive. Okay, we got that. Yeah, the others flew away. Then we go down here. Gonna attract wolves now, but that's alright. And now we bandage our feet so we can run. I'm still cold, but that's alright. Drink a little bit. Okay. Oh, some stones for rabbits. I'm carrying a ptarmigan, so I smell now, but that's alright. I'm gonna grab this uh, coal bin here. Yeah, Tinder will take that too. Okay. Let's go. Then we're gonna head to Tim Wolf Mountain now. We'll come out of Echo Ravine. We'll grab some rabbits on the way. We'll probably be exhausted by the time we get to Mount Nesat, which is fine. Because then we're going to, at that point, start micro harvesting rabbits. If we can find some more rabbits, which is likely. Wolves on my left. You can hear it. There they are. You can also level up by making teas. The only thing is that preparing teas take forever to do, so I'm not a big fan of it. We do take the rose hips though, because we need them for the pies. And we can also use excess to make corrosive tea, which gives us a lot of warmth when we drink it. We're going to be exhausted by the time we get to Tim of Mountain, which is no problem. That's kind of what's expected. If I had found a hacksaw, I could open the containers, but I don't know of any hacksaw spawns in Ash Canyon. I guess maybe you can get one in the... Uh... I'll leave those. What should we call it? The uh, uh, the gold mine, maybe? I don't recall ever finding any hacksaws in Ash Canyon in general. I don't think you can get one. Could be wrong, though. Okay, we are heavy. How heavy are we, actually? Okay. Fairly heavy. Let's see if I can drop something, because then we won't burn this uh, as fast. Drop this. 
eat that. Drop the potatoes, we're not going to need those. And uh, drop this book. Now I can sprint a bit more. When I'm heavy, it doesn't really matter too much. Sorry, when I'm tired, it doesn't matter too much if I'm heavy. But right now, I'll burn less fatigue if I'm not heavy. Of course, it's going to go down to 15, so at some point I'm going to be too heavy regardless. But we'll push this as far as we can. All the way to Mount Nesat. And then we'll start a fire. Okay. Run. And then now we're heavy again, as you can see. That's alright. Up here we go. We smell a bit, so we'll probably get a bear after us and maybe some wolves, but it's okay. We have flares and things. Okay, from here I think we'll just walk. But now, uh, I'm guessing we spent maybe 10 in-game hours when we've only gotten this far, but at least we are leveling some cooking. Now I need to level up cooking to level 3 as fast as I can. And I also need to... Uh, I need wood to make sure I can cook more. So I'm going to pick up all the sticks I can see. There's a bear around here which I can't see right now, but there he is. He's coming for me because of I smell. It's fine, he's not going to catch up anyway. We'll just avoid him going this way. I'm not going to run for now. I do want to grab some rabbits though. There's a wolf. It's going for... Is it going for deer? But if it is, which it is, I think we'll do that instead. We'll micro-harvest this deer. Oh, thank you. Let's drop this. Make a fire. The bear might come this way, which is a bit of a bum. But this makes things <laughs> as a little bit lucky, let's be honest. That was a bit lucky. But um, this is a good, uh, good little gift. Come on. Oh, come on. Because now we can micro-harvest this. We can just make the fires here. It's fine. The bear is a little bit of an issue, though. But that's alright. It worked. Okay, and now we put on the coal. Then we put on this to make some water. Let me start micro-harvesting. Placing that there. Let's just drop all this stuff. Also drop that. Cook it. There we go. Okay, to grab another piece. And then we make another fire. Because then we can make more cooking. And we just want to get to level 3 cooking ASAP, which will take a little while. But we can definitely do this. Alright. Okay. Let's do um, it. Good, that works. I could eat anything right now. And the same. One, two, three.
Clicking level two. How's this looking? Boiled. We need more water, so let's just keep that going. Done. There he is. It's a little bit of a bum, but we have this, so do this. Uh, I might try and scare him off with this flare. He doesn't even notice. But there's the main issue here. Just drop it right away, and he doesn't really do anything. Yeah, now he's over there. We're fine. Going slightly slower as a result. At least it's safe. We need more meat. This might not even be enough. be okay. This is good micro harvesting here. Need even more water, so let's just keep going. Right now the the bear is far enough away that I can just do this. Harvesting. There he comes. So we're there now. Okay, running a bit low on. as fast as we can here. We might have to level some up on the other side, but do we can. Need to get to cooking level three. Uh, good enough for now, I guess. We need more wood, is the issue. Uh, let's just eat this. This is an odd kind of grind. Now we're kind of in the best path, which is a little bit awkward. We can fix that by doing this. Just eat like that, yeah. Okay, I think this fire has to burn out, and we have to put this on here. 
how we're looking with cooking. Halfway there, give or take. Alright, it's good. Yeah, we don't really need that. Could, if we're lucky, cook these ones. Yeah, I think maybe. And then we need to... This is a tricky one. I don't know if you've ever seen anyone do this before, but... <laughs> Here we are. And repeat. Okay, we need to, uh, we can't do more water now, we need to do this. Keep going. Uh, have a small sip of water, we don't take too much damage. And keep repeating. I'd better find some water. Yeah, keep at it. Taking a while, but I think we can probably do it. Okay, it's clear now. It's a little bit lucky that <laughs> this guy died. Okay. And okay. This is such a strange strat, but it is working. <laughs> it is working. Let's just, oops, let's keep going. I was going to check how far we're along, but it doesn't really matter because uh, the game will tell me when I'm done. This is micro harvesting for you. Just eat a piece. Now we can just eat the dog food actually. Wait, wait, it might not be good quality, so. I don't want to get food poisoning. Quickly see us eat this. Yeah. You can also eat uh, dog food. Just to avoid losing too much health here from hydration and whatnot. Okay. One minute. So this is uh, very quickly then. Yeah, we got it. Okay, sweet. For cooking level three. Now we place this and we make rose hip pie. There we go. 58 minutes. Takes a while, yeah. But that is good though. I think we have to take that long to do it. But that's okay. We can eat some of this. Does it actually take an hour to do? I thought it was like 20 minutes. Well, that's fine. We can do some inventory management. We can eat this. Uh, we can also harvest this. Uh, let's put that on. Yeah. Kind of messed that up because I wanted the whole kilo, but I forgot about the. Uh, Thingy then. Okay. We can make some stuff with timing and me, can't we? That's why I, why I did that. So if we go here, I'll say pie will make and timing and pie. That's for carry capacity, which we don't really need. Uh, I guess not really, but. We can also do farming and stew, which makes us rest, but we don't really need that. Broth, which just makes us warm. 
So I might make some broth, but we need a pot for that. We can't really do this. Okay, well we got that. How many torches? Not that many. And then when I'm in a building next, I'll make some more. Cooking time is reduced as well. Okay, I guess we're taking this. Let's eat one. And now we can actually run again. Uh -huh. Interesting tactic, right? <laughs> but as you can see, we did level 3 cooking now. And it's almost midnight. So when it's dawn... When it's dawn, the um, it's been 24 hours. So I don't think this strategy works that well. Especially if it takes an hour to make one of these uh, rosy pies. I don't think that's really worth it. But it's a fun little alternative approach, isn't it? The speedrunning. Let's do something different, at least. Maybe it could be polished. We just be different and better. But I doubt it. Okay. I need to actually... Need some wood also. Um... I need to... what was I going to say? What was I going to say? <laughs> oh, we need a cooking pot. We need that for the porridge, but that shouldn't be hard to find. I think I'll make the next rosy pie in the farm. Oh, right, we need bandages, that's what I was going to say. Because if I get a sprain now, it's a bit annoying. We do have cloth? I f no, we don't have cloth. Alright, let's check here. What treasures awaits us in Mountaineer's Hut? Let's see. We got a down vest. We got nothing there. Okay. Oh, summit soda. Okay. And we got nothing here, we got that, we can match this I guess. Wood, which we will take. Will be heavy, but that's right. And I guess that's it, we can check it quick. But There's gotta be something useful in here. No, oh, not really. <laughs> We're heavy, but barely heavy. Uh, let's see, is there anything we can toss? I guess we can, ah, oh, let's just eat this. Let's uh, get rid of that, and we'll eat another one of these. And now we're looking good. And then this is better. So let's get rid of this then. Now nah, we can keep it because we might need a cloth. Maybe. Okay, keep running. Let's try not to get stumped by the moose. We can grab the birch bark as well for warmth. Bit easy to make. Don't see moose markings right now. But yeah, we got it. So we got cooking level three. And we basically transition to one region. We have a bunch of matches now, by the way, so I'm not too bothered about chaining. But uh, it took us basically, it was just past the ones, so I guess, like 14 hours or something to go to one region, get the skillet and all that stuff. So is that worth it? Probably not. But it was a fun, different thing to do, wasn't it? No moose out, which is good. I'll grab some birch bark. As well as some sticks. We're going to get heavy soon. And we need to make more rosy pies. We'll make some more on the farm. Because in the farm we can loot around a bit. See if there's some clothing or something. Which is going to help with traveling. So we'll make another batch there. If we're ultra lucky. And I mean really lucky. We'll find a second skillet in the farm, and then we can make two batches of rose hips. That would be lucky. Alternatively, we could, we could, 
uh, go to Thompson's Crossing, which has a skillet. And then you go via Ravine, grab a stim there, and also Sindel's Mine is a stim as well. Could do that, I suppose. Um, I don't think that's worth it though, in my opinion. But it's an interesting idea. I don't think that's worth it. Besides, we need coffee, and the best place to get coffee is Signal Hill. So, don't think it's worth uh, going to... Uh, to Thompson's. We hope there'll be a skillet in um, in the farm. And if there isn't, there will be one in camp office. So we can make some more in camp office. Hold on, let me just check. Yeah. I just like to make sure that we're actually recording because it has happened that I wasn't. Especially all these pauses I have to do. All right, we'll take the shortcut down. Hopefully no sprains, because that would be annoying that I have to make bandages. But we can make bandages in the farm while the rose hips are cooking. Let's see, I think I'll sprint a bit here because we could Uh, we could get a sprain here, in which case the rest of the running is kind of pointless. We're going to skip this. Yeah, you're gonna have to listen to Will Pant, I'm sorry. It's just how it is. Down here we go. Shortcut. And then we'll also... Ah, there we go. Exactly what I said. I was kind of rushing it a bit, that's why. Now, seeing as we got a spray, I'm not going to eat the other roasted pie right now. I will, however, go in here. Because in here... It's worth checking these... These cupboards, file cabinets, because you can... If you're really lucky, you can find coffee in these. It's a random thing. Let's just check. And then we also need bandages, of course. Which we can kind of pass on right now. Uh, no, okay. Let's also get, there might be a pot here. Let's see. I have to make bandages here. Okay, no pot. Okay, grab this though. There's also a coffee in the... Um... I'll just walk here. At least we're not taking any damage. We'll walk, we'll walk the rest of the farm. We'll heal up, make some more rosehip pie. Um, if you want, you can go to the cave that's the left of here. There's usually a coffee there. But it's like one cup of coffee that is. To so. escape this cold. Not really worth it. And then now we could I go, so. and I think maybe we should. Actually, you know, I'm getting cold and I don't have that much health. But I might make a fire here, actually. Just to make, not lose too much health. We can warm up a little bit. We can make bandages. We can make some more water. We can maybe make some birch tea. And then we can continue. Makes it a bit so easier. Cold. So let's do that. Okay. Do you have any coal? Let's I think I do. No, but how cold? Uh, it's kind of cold. Yeah. Okay. Well, we need to put all the sticks on then. And that too. Okay. All right. Let's make some water. And while we do that, we can make some bandages. We just need to harvest that. Losing some time doing this, but that's okay. Okay, and then we make bandages. And 
and then we can make we can warm up a little bit here so we'll just make some uh, birch tea I could just lay down have a little sleep right here I'll make a birch tea, and while that's being made, we'll also make one of these. We've got a lot of rose sips, so that's okay. Take that, and then we'll make this. And, uh... Nah, I think that's alright. Let's just grab this. And eat this. And bandage our feet. Now, cold is still an issue. So I am going to check the plane crash for some clothing. Might help a bit. There'll be one less thing to worry about if we got some good clothing. We'll probably find us, uh, some smaller things there. Now, another thing with this run is that if you go to the dam while it's night, you could have an aurora, and then you have to cross the wires with an aurora, which is not great. So, um, yeah. Now, I'm definitely not going to make it in 24 hours. And this strategy worked kind of well, actually. It was kind of fun to try this out. But I think even if you perfect it and spend some time, like, polishing it and making sure it all works and you optimize exactly what the house. I mean, I got really lucky with that deer getting killed. That was really lucky. But if not, I would have just gotten a bunch of rabbits. I did do a practice run before this. I didn't finish it. I just went kind of like halfway just to see if it was possible. And in that one, I grabbed, I think it was four rabbits and a ptarmigan, and that was more than enough to get to level three. So um, you don't need to have that deer, but that was a bit lucky because then it's in the same place. The bear made it a bit awkward. But I think that even if you did this route and you perf perfected it, I'm not sure it's fast enough, to be honest. You know, we're speedrunning like this. Let's drink the birch tea. Warm up a little bit. And then we'll go check the, uh, the suitcases. Because there might what be some clothing. Around? I don't think so, Will. I don't know if I've ever heard him say that line before. <laughs> now we've got a birch tea in us, which is nice. We're not going to loot the lockers, the overhead lockers. Can't feel my hands. But we are going to loot the plane itself, because there's a... Um, chance of a wool took there. There's so many matches that I can't be able to chain things. Ready? When we're in Skeeters, we'll uh, look through this. May have missed one, but I think that's good enough. Carcass over there, corpse. And we'll check these ones too. You're about to get cold. Sometimes you're lucky and find something really good. Sometimes there's a wool toque over here. But not today. Check this one though, just in case it happens to be on here. Which is not. Never felt so cold and in my life. then we go here. Now we can run a little bit before we get tired, which is going to happen very, very soon. We're going to ski this ridge. There's the wolves. Hi, Wolfie. I got some ptarmigan meat on me. This wolf doesn't know what to do because the other wolf has aggroed me. That's how it works with the wolves. My energy is just. Okay, we lost that. That's been drained. And now we're now cold and tired. Excuse me one second. Alright. Okay, we're warm down here at least. That's good. Uh, we'll take this because you can heat it up. Take this bandages here maybe. No bandages. And we'll take the wood. Already heavy, so who cares? Could end up. T-shirt. 
All right, let's sort out some clothing options there. So we got hat there. That's worse. These are both worse. Worse. Uh, that one is better. Then here, I think we already have the best one. Yeah. So we just need to drop all of these. To take up space. And wait. I guess that's it. Not a lot of heat bonus, but it is what it is. And then I think that's it. Uh, we can... I think that's it, yeah. Okay, we're warming up a little bit. Let's head to the farm. We're gonna get cold again now, but... I think we can make it to the farm before we get too cold. And if not, I'll just stop and warm up. Fine. This is basically now the shortcut that we use in the Hunted. Normally I would chain it, but it takes longer. There yeah. I'm not sure if I want the beeline towards farm. I don't have that much health. We'll see. I have rose hip I can make. Uh, actually, I might make a fire here, a short fire. To make this... Um... Oh, I didn't bring the um, ptarmigan meat. I was going to make broth with it. <laughs> oh well, that's all right. I might make a quick fire here. Because of this bird. So let's just quickly do that. Print. So that we can uh, cook some teas and travel a little bit further. And then we can make some more roll sips in the farm. Get some more bandages too. We need to go to Signal Hill too. Okay, I got minus, minus 14. Mm. Put this on. And then it sticks. As many sticks as we can, really. Make this T. Also put this down. And grab this. How much tinder and stuff do I have? Not a lot, actually. Create birch tea. Damn. Freezing. <laughs> hey, it takes that long. Oh, yeah. And then we place this down. And I think, oh, actually cold. That's because of this. And then we create this. Oh, actually still cold. Okay, well, I'm not committed now. <laughs> That's weird. Drink this. I guess the temperature changed, didn't it? Alright. Let's go. That wasn't really worth it because I got cold. But, uh, eh. That's alright. We got a birch tea out of it. When we get to farm, we're gonna cook some more roasted pies. At least one batch. If we get skillet, we'll cook two batches. Doubt that's going to happen. And then we'll go from there. If we have birch tea, that offsets the fatigue damage, but with rose, uh, rose hip tea. Oh, sorry, rose hip high that she used the same this is an odd kind of speed challenge isn't it very odd and then we need to go to single hill with this coffee now in a, for this challenge we need to make four cups of coffee and there's five in a tin so we can make one for ourselves and of course if we find more coffee 
we can also have that for ourselves, which is how people do this challenge. I just... Oh, okay, sure. They do it similar to the ha they would any other challenges in the game, like uh, the Hunted and so on. So, which is that they uh, grind it again and again. So this tournament has been going on for a long time and people have done dozens and dozens of attempts of this. I have only been watching on and off. People uh, respawn again and again until they get a good spawn that they want, the weather that they want, and of course they need coffee as well. There's all sorts of factors that play in. And uh, I don't really have time for that, it takes too long. But I thought it was a fun idea, like, it's kind of like Hopeless Rescue, so I thought it was a neat little challenge. So I thought, let's give it a try, you know, it sounds fun. But I don't fancy grinding it and hoping for coffee spawns to make it faster. Let's do it differently. Let's, in this case, try and level up cooking. Why not? <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. It looks like we're going to be cold, I think. Yeah, we're going to be cold. That's all right. I think we'll be okay. And then we'll uh, make a batch of uh, rose hips here. Uh, potentially two, but I don't think so. It depends what else I do in here, but at least one. It would be interesting if you could prep a second batch and cook it later. I don't know if you can, though. That would be interesting. We don't have coal, but we do have wood, so... <clears throat> we should be warm in here, so this is fine. Let's go make a fire right away. No skillet. Here, yeah, the skillet will be hang right there. If you get the skillet spawn. So no skillet for us, I'm afraid. But we can still make a batch. Maybe two, we'll see. Depends what we do. Start a fire at least. Warm ourselves up. Come on. Why didn't that work? Uh, well, now I hope it does work because I'm running out of tinder. Let's make more tinder, but still. Come on. There we go. Shouldn't fail now. And I can put on uh, this. Put the skillet on here. Make some rose hip. There we go. And while that's cooking, let's grab flour and pot. We need that for uh Yeah, I can't really do anything with that. Out of water, yeah. For the porridge. Or yeah, we'll take it I guess. While that's cooking, we'll look around. We need this for the pancakes. Peaches, we can also use to make uh, peach eyes. But the problem is that uh, <laughs> we need a skillet for that. So uh, we can take the toilet water. Save having to make too much water. We might, if we're lucky, find some... Uh, Herbal tea, which would be nice. Doesn't seem like it though. Can opener, I guess. Perhaps we'll look at all of this stuff. You can also find coffee in here. We're lucky. Now we're warming up and everything. We're looking good. Soon morning, so soon we have passed the 24 hour mark. And the best way to do this is definitely going straight, not the way I do this. Uh, I don't know if we need that. Okay. Let's see here. Oops. Let's check this. 37. Okay. I don't know if we need any more, but we can, we can put that on there. Grab a new torch. Let's quickly check down here. Is there anything in here, for example? Potatoes. We don't need potatoes. I wonder who owns this stuff. Uh, we don't need that. I don't think, at least. 
Uh, anything here? These just have carrots and whatnot. We like we don't need those. Picked it up anyway, but wires. Uh, we can check for clothing here, I guess. Oh, oh, that's nice. Yeah, we'll take that. This is probably worse. Yeah. It's also worse. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's definitely better than uh, marginally better, actually. Eh. Take that instead. That's because I need to repair it, which they we're not doing. We're not going to spend any time repairing these things. It takes too long. Uh, let's see. Excuse me. Okay. Okay. Sorry if you could hear me chew there, but uh, one of the, my viewers, or rather colleagues, uh, what was the name? Reef, Reefishu, sent me a care package with all sorts of snacks and things. So, uh, <laughs> noshing on that while playing. You check him out, he was a good streamer. I'll double check the name when I have a moment. Let's see if we find any more clothing here. Doesn't seem like it. But while that's cooking, we might as well check. Don't think we'll make another batch, but we might make another batch up at Signal Hill. I think that's it. Okay. Uh, we need to make more bandages too. I might grab some cloth here. Let's see how's this looking. Six minutes. Mm. Oh, how long to grab this? Fifteen minutes. Wow. Um, not entirely sure. Okay, that's done. I might make another one here, actually. The difference? Not really. Make another one. Because I'm going to grab some curtains. And let's see, 41 minutes, I want to make some bandages. We also need uh, tinder, to be honest. Might as well do that and make more of those rosehip pies. Why not? Now I have more tinder plugs, yeah, what's that for? And we need some more bandages. Fourteen minutes. This is perfect, actually, because then we can make one more set of bandages, and now we can eat them. We got six of them. Maybe make another batch. Maybe in uh, Signal Hill, but I doubt it. Okay, we're approaching twenty-four hours now. That was pretty much just making our way there. Alright, let's eat a rosehip pie. And let's run. We got everything now except for oats. But we can find oats. That was a weird noise. You can find oats in um in Justice Hovel. Which is in Forsaken Airfield. So based on this, now that we have six of these, and we'll probably make one more somewhere. I guess Signal Hill is the best place to make it. Because in Signal Hill at least we'll be looting some stuff, maybe making a coffee. Uh, I guess our end time will be like a day and a half. But as long as we do it under 48 hours, I think we're good. I kind of want to make sure that I eat enough 
to have um, <clears throat> my energy more than a quarter. So when your energy is, or your stamina, or your fatigue, whatever you want to call it, like technically it's called fatigue. Yeah. When the fatigue is quarter or less, you regenerate slower. You regenerate uh, sprinting slower. So that's something to keep in mind. So there's a possibility. So we really want to have it more full than that, really. Up here, you very often get sprains. Very, very often. So that's why we got those bandages. And now from here on, we should be good, actually, I think. I think we'll make one more batch up there. If I had found a second skillet, oof, that would be good. That would have been so broken. But even though we wouldn't have made it in, an, in any kind of record time or anything. This is a fun challenge. Um, I like speedrunning. But I don't like it enough. Um, to grind it. So I like following it as a scene, including the long dark. So I do watch some speedruns in other games, especially Half-Life and stuff like that. Um, I do enjoy watching it. I think it's really fun. And I think it's very impressive how people can like grind out the game to find everything there is to know about this game and every possible shot you can do. But I don't particularly like performing speedruns and grinding it because I feel it takes too much time for so little reward. So like, okay, you do things a bit faster. Yeah, all right. At least this challenge is part of a tournament, which means there's a prize and bragging rights. So at least there's that. But um, normally like I find it interesting, so I like trying it to do it as fast as possible. I like trying different tactics. And then I feel like, well, uh, that's enough. Like, now I do it fast enough. So I, for example, I used to have the world record in the long dark for the Dark Walker challenge. I was the fastest person in the world to complete that challenge. It has since been beaten twice. And uh, by a decent margin, I'm, I might add. And as a result, I will... Probably one day that I fancy, I'll try again just to see how I do, if I can do better. But I'm not going to grind it. I'm not going to try and like really get my record back or anything. I mean, who, who cares? I don't... There's better things I can spend my time doing. You know? So I'll hop in and I give it a try, see if I can at least beat my old personal best, you know. And I, I give it one attempt or two. And then that's it. I don't really want to grind it. Some people will then grind again and again and again and again, dozens and dozens of times, for days and days and days. And I, I just don't have the patience well. for that. I'd rather do something else. Uh, find some place to escape this well, let's see, actually. F 1 hour 15. How long does it take to prep? I'm actually getting cold here. Whoops. It takes 10 minutes, basically. All right. I lost some health there. Let's see. Uh, let's loot in here. So cold. We got coffee. Lay down we don't have coffee. We do have tea though. But that's a bit. Ugh. We didn't get coffee in here. That's probably better. No, not better. Hmm. We didn't get coffee, which is a shame. Then we have to hope to get coffee. Uh, these are pretty good. Heavy though. That's right. We have to hope to get coffee in, um, in camp office. And if you don't, I'm actually missing one of the components of this challenge. In which case, we kind of have to go to Milton. Because there will be coffee there in. Uh, it can be in Grey Mother's house, but more likely it will be in uh, the bank. 
for the uh, the farm. But we might have to do that actually. We can take that, I guess. All right, so no coffee. That is a shame. All right, we'll wear the boots. They're warmer. We we'll get some more coal in the mines up ahead. Oh, I tabbed out back some there. What's the temperature here? Quite cold. Wow, that is cold. How long has this got? 37 minutes. All right. Put that on there. And we'll go in here. In that case, we'll finish making that. Uh, actually, hold on. I messed up a little bit. We need to make some teas. So we need to use the other one here. Die if I don't to make this. We can also do this. And this. Just to have that warmed up. I'm losing some health here. Still got these carrots on me. Alright. Four minutes. Let's just warm up a little bit. Uh, best is to just do this. Let me go back out, grab that tea. This is really our warmth thing. Grab that tea, put another tea on. Oops. Cold. And put these here. Go back inside. This is, I don't have coal, so I'm too cold out there. Wait a little bit. Go back outside. Also drink a herbal tea, maybe. Warms up a little bit. This was having to lose too much health. Five minutes. All right. That's exactly what we're going to do. Wait a couple minutes here. I don't think there was anything else there. So now we have to find coffee in camp office or if we're lucky in the dam. All right, let's keep going then. Let's grab torch. Grab that. Four minutes. Okay, well. Hot rosy pie. See two of them. Because we get some more stamina back this way. Might as well just eat it now, right? All right, let's go. We made some more of them, which is nice. Definitely isn't worth it. it takes way too long. It's like three hours to make all those uh, pies. <laughs> but it's different. I do like the idea of this. So now I basically have 24 hours to get to Forsaken Airfield. Oh, hello there, Mr. Oh, Mr. Bear. How are you doing today? How are you? Oh, really? Okay. Stay away. You stay away. You stay away then. Okay. That's it. I 
That's why I, that's why I kept the flares. <laughs> this is not gonna burn very long though. Okay, that was a bit stressful. You can scare away the bear with the flare, but I think maybe you have to hit him on the head or something. I've done it before. But primarily the main use there was that the flare acts as a, it's basically a campfire. It keeps the bear at bay. I can't really lose any health here, so. Can't feel my hands. Yeah, there you go for him. Poor Barry. Took him for the team. Oh, warm. Alright, we'll warm up a bit in here and also we can pick up coal and from now on it's just gonna get warmer and warmer so I think we should be good from here. So you have to listen to a pan thing. We don't have coffee though, which is an issue. We will pop into a uh, camp office and grab that. Um, we'll grab the uh, skillet and all that stuff that's there, but I don't think there's uh, gonna be coffee there. I mean, there could be, but I don't know. We can check all the file cabinets in the dam, but don't think it's going to work very well. Now the people that have managed to do this in 24 hours is very impressive. But yeah, you just gotta go from day one. Uh, and just run and hope for extra coffee. That's pretty much all you can do. Okay, here we can walk a bit slower and warm up. Yeah, I might not even make it in 48 hours, but I think I will. I grab some coal, cause then I can warm up fast. The coal, coal is an issue as well, so having the coal does help. The boots I picked up were like marginally warmer, but they were really heavy. Okay, keep going here. Got some coal over here that I also want to grab. Because unless we go to Mountain Town, which actually seems kind of likely now, I think we probably... won't have much coal, so if we go there, we'll find some more coal, but that's it. We will find coffee there. There's also oats in the... Um, uh, what should we call it? Orca station because I need a pry bar for that, but I'm not really looking for one. I think we can just walk this because we're at least warming up while we're walking. Very low health, but that's okay. If necessary, I will make a fire here too, which is. Quite possible. I have to do lots of matches. I run as far as I can. Okay, now I can run again. I think I do have to make a fire here soon. I don't think it's worth cooking anything because I think it takes too long. I think. Gosh, we're sprinting away though, aren't we? There's another one of these. I think we will make a fire. Hey, where's the wind coming from here? So here is. That's good, yeah. Two wind, here we are. Light the fire here. Let's not take any cold damage, it's too risky. Did I have a book? Here we are. Grab that. Light it.
What? Failed attempt. Okay. Try again. Go, go, go. Put some coal on there. I guess we could make a uh, batch. But, I don't know. I think it just takes too long. That did it. Especially with the prep time. There we are. Uh, maybe though, I don't know. Uh, let's see. We also need to prep some other things. Uh, okay, tell you what, we'll, we'll make we'll make one. Peach pie. Let's make a peach pie this time. There we are. Fifty-eight minutes. So while. And let's. Can I make some teas? So I can make herbal teas. Yeah, that's also true. We need to make those. I don't know why I changed my accent there, but... Okay. Uh, I think we will prepare one roll sip tea as well. There we are. This is costing some time, but this will be safe. Warmth-wise. That there. I'm gonna save the peaches. Okay, grab that. Take all of this. Grab a torch, and let's go. So you spend like an hour doing that, but grab one more torch. That was a really good torch. Okay, let's go. Now I can sprint. So much sprinting at so much cost. Uh, be faster to just walk it, probably. <laughs> but at least it's different. At least I can stop and do stuff and then make it. Uh, I was speaking to Blades CJ, who's now Blades TLD. And I was uh, talking about this challenge, and I said that. Uh, yeah, I was going to do it very differently, and he was very curious what I meant by that. And the best way to explain it is that I think my way is innovative, but impractical. <laughs> I don't think this is a very good idea, no. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Let's go, let's run. I don't think we'll make any more pies now. Maybe we'll make one more. Uh, in uh, the camp office. Because in the camp office, I'll get my second skillet, so I could make two batches then. I still need to find coffee though, which is a real pain. Alright, let's see here. Uh, let's eat another one. Headache, that's fine. Run, run, run. Nice to be able to run so much. We can't do out of bounds tricks either. But we are allowed micro harvesting and goating in this challenge. And you're gonna have to listen to a pant, I'm afraid. And here we are. We're going to now enter the dam. So we've made quite good progress. We're actually barely cold now, so now we're looking very well. We basically got mm, a day and a quarter, three fourths, so a little bit more than a day and a half to do this, which should be fine from now on. It's just we need coffee, though, it's the only thing. We do need coffee. Okay. Alright, up we go and into the dam. Let's grab these. Okay, let's just check these as I'm in front of it. I could, I suppose, make a roasted pie while I loot the dam. Just to see if I find coffee. Hey, a cup of coffee. Nice, that's lucky. It's like a torch, can't really see anything. Seeing as I'm right here, I might as well loot these. Just in case. 
I don't think I can be bothered to go upstairs and loot the other ones. Oh, painkillers, okay. How many pies do I have left? Four. Uh, I could potentially make... Six more at the camp office, I suppose. And I don't think we need more than that. But I still need coffee, is the thing. Still need coffee. I think we might have to go to Milton. Should be coffee there. You can find coffee randomly in file cabinets. But I don't think I can be bothered to spend all that time doing it, you know. So many cabinets. And it just uh, it takes too long. And I might not even find anything. I might check all the cabinets and I don't find anything. But I, I don't see the point, if I'm honest. Let's check the um, first aid kit here. Oh, book. This yeah, one bandage, yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, storm lantern? No? Uh, I guess we can check these. Being as we're right here. Okay, we'll check the trailers outside because you can randomly get coffee in these trailers. Very rare. Very rare, but it can happen. So we'll check that. We'll check camp office. And if it's not in camp office, we'll go to trappers. If it's not in trappers, we're just gonna have to go to a mountain town, I think. It's unfortunate. But now is a good time to travel though, because we uh I could use this. We need uh in case, because take it. Uh, I'll take the peaches. Take that. That might be better than. Yeah, it is. Or this. Slightly better. Okay. Okay, also. Could check the hunter's blinds. I don't think they have coffee here. Coffee, no. I do not see any coffee. Oh. All right, then camp office, let's hope. Now we run. We're barely cold at all now. We could check, of course, um, grab these two. I don't think we need it, but we could, of course, check. They go all okay, but what's the point? It's not going to be anything there. Eat another one, peach pie. Stack all this headaches. We're barely cold at all. So this is perfect. And let's see. So we have until morning the next day to do it. Should be possible, I think. We need to make sure we have enough wood also. Or we can pick that up, like just bring some coal on the way or something. I don't know. It'd be fine. I'm gonna go camp office now. I guess there could be coffee at Lookout Tower, but I don't know if it's worth checking that. It's always hard to remember where you find coffee on regular runs. I mean, you always find it in the, on the summit, and you always find it. 
or in a container in Steamworks Mountain, and usually you find it in like, yeah, Signal Hill, the old random one in a cupboard or something. I have been told that the bank has guaranteed coffee. Let me check that if that's true, but it might be true. All right, here we might make more pies, or we will bring this skillet and make uh, another batch at Grey Mother's house. If we don't get coffee, that is. Also, the weather's so nice now that I want to kind of keep going. acorn trees here. Oh, two wolves, eh? All right, camp office, let's go. Give me coffee. And if not, something worthwhile. Need a pry bar as well. Uh, ideally. Hey, ptarmigans. Hail ho! That would have been really funny. <laughs> He's gonna go for the deer, isn't he? Yep. Yeah. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, skillet, coffee, let's just quickly see here. I don't think there's coffee here, so we're just gonna grab what we need, which is flour. I guess we can take the pot, but I'm not sure we need it to be honest. Too heavy. Salt. Skillet. Uh, might make another batch then in Grey Mother's house. Yeah, nothing really here. Eat another one then. Uh, I need to drop some stuff actually. Carrying away too much stuff. Let's just sort that out now. So we don't... I don't know if we need three of these. No, we don't need all of these ones. Get rid of those. Uh, that's fine. I want those. We don't need this. Uh, wood is good. So heavy, but we do kind of need it, at least eventually. Don't need these. Guess that's it, really. A lot of flour. We don't need this much flour. We don't need these either. Get rid of those. And uh, yeah, we don't need salt. At least not two of them. We don't need all this either, but keep it for now. And we keep this for now. I just need to make sure I have enough to climb the rope. I don't actually need to climb the rope, I guess. All right, trappers, let's go. No coffee there either. We have to go to Milton. We have no choice. Because we can't do this challenge without coffee. Unfortunately. We have a cup of coffee. They have found three more. <laughs> we can do it. Might actually skip the rope as well. Uh, trying to think. Panting Will. This is the Panting Will video. So most of the people who have done this challenge and they do it the normal way, not the weird way that I'm doing it. They seem to have landed kind of like around like an, a day and 10 hours or something. 
Which I think is more or less where I'm at now. So, uh, yeah. I think I will make it. I'm actually kind of running low on time here. Ish. I think I will make it, though. Using this silly tactic. If I find coffee here, I'm just going to go to Fallen Musky right away. We're not going to go to... Uh, to Milton. Now we need to have enough wood to cook the stuff, which shouldn't be too bad. Alright, nice and warm day. Look at that. Actually warming up here. How neat. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh no, we're not warming up anymore. Let's see what Trappers has in store for us. I'm gonna wait to have the rest of the pies until I get further along. There's a shortcut in Milton I can take. Maybe that is the smartest. Wouldn't I know to a pry bar? Let's see what we got in here. In here we got... Dusting sulfur. Uh, mm, no, no coffee here either. So I think that means we have to go to Milton. That was a massive detour, but... It is what it is. We're definitely going to make another batch in Milton in that case. Because there'll be a skillet there too. I wonder if there'll be one in the farm too and we can make a bunch of batches. Grab some wood here too. I'm bringing the pots, the extra pots and skillets. Mostly because it'll be faster to cook the stuff. Um, when I'm there. That's the main reason. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Grab the coal. Be needing that. Bad day at the office. It's gonna stay warm for another couple of hours. Not very long though. But I think it'll be alright. We won't have any steams. Oh, there's only one other place actually where there's guaranteed coffee, I suppose. Which is uh, broken railroad in the ravine. You can I can make almost anything. Could I suppose? I mean, now I already made it this way, so now it's a bit late. But could have gone there, climbed down, grabbed the coffee, stimmed back up. That would have been an option. Could even get two stimmed. You go to hunting lodge, put a bunch of pies on to cook. And uh, then come back. I guess that would have been possible, yeah. I suppose. But we're committed now. We're going to do it this way. See if we can manage this. Let's go. All right. 
drop this also. I'm not sure yet if I want to take the shortcut. I think maybe I should. Otherwise it's going to be too costly. I think maybe I have to. You can see though. Gonna make a bunch of these uh, things anyway. So now we have to go up to Grandmother's house and the bank. And we'll make a batch of these things while we grab the coffee. And then we can just sprint the rest of the way, pretty much. I'm gonna take this shortcut to uh, down here. We don't have to climb down. I'm gonna need to rest soon. And here, there's matches in a cave which we don't need. I'm gonna eat. Uh, I might take the rope, actually. Is going to make so many pies. Yeah, I'm still too heavy actually if I do that though. A bit. Uh... Eh, we'll see. We'll take the shortcut, I suppose, along the cliffs. But, uh. What are we looking here, by the way? Yeah, okay. I don't know. I've only done it like once, so a bit risky. But very conflicted, I have to think. Uh, if there is a pry bar, it would be nice. I don't have a pry bar though, but if I had one, can. You can find a pry bar outside the Oak gas station in in the trucks. If I have a pry bar, it's worth going via the gas station because then you can get oats in there, and the oats saves us the trip to Justice Hovel in the Forsaken Airfield. So it would be good. It would be good to um to get that. We can try, I suppose. And just drop everything we don't need. There'll be wood in Grandmother's house, I'm pretty sure. Let's maybe do that. Let's just pump ourselves full of pie, climb up this rope, hope there's a pry bar, and if not, eh, at least we made it to bank faster. Okay, let's see here. Here's the rope. Which is a, such a massive detour. I mean, it's not massive, but it's a it's a detour and a half. Uh, so let's see here. Here we are. Let's now do uh, this. Eat this, and then eat that, and then we drop where we don't need to drop that. Drop most of this. Um, Mouth so dry. A lot of oil, we don't need that much of it. And then we drink the. We had a coffee, didn't we? Yeah, drink the coffee. As well as some of this. And let's climb this. Oh. And let's climb this. <laughs> <laughs> And now it's going to get colder as well. Makes the rest of the journey a little bit tricky. Gosh, I only have like eight in-game hours or something to do this. I don't know if it's actually going to be possible. This silly tactic of mine may actually be too silly, too dumb. 
Well, we'll give it a try. We're invested now. Maybe Saks Delivery Service is the kind that, you know, it's a bit slow, takes a while to get there, but it delivers quality stuff. Level 3 cooking breakfast. Not level 2 like all the others. Level 3. Let's have a quick look in here. Uh, no. Oh wait, just a quick... Uh, no. That's the service you can expect from sack delivery. We deliver exactly on time. Ching. All these acorns. Alright, let's see if there's a pry bar here. Because then we can get oats right away. If we don't find a pry bar, well, there is one in Grandmother's house. I think this is. Maybe worth coming back to regardless. I'm not sure. Alright, let's see. Is there a pry bar here? Oops. <laughs> I think I used two matches there. Alright, let's see here. Pry bar? Doesn't look like it. Line here. No. No primary. Eh? That is unfortunate. Not sure why I feel so tired. Okay, well, no. At least we made it faster to Grey Mothers and the bank and whatnot. So we'll make another batch. Uh, either Grey Mothers or in the farm, maybe the farm, because I think there's another skillet there, I think, I'm not sure. But um, that way we can make like a whole bunch of these things. And then just gotta run and run and run and run, pretty much. Hope we make it in time. And you know, fittingly, this run started at dawn, so we can serve breakfast in the morning. Isn't that nice? Uh, might as well see here if there is a pry bar in here. If there isn't. So let's see here in the bank. Is this the bank? No, this is the post office. The bank has the coffee. I don't think this is anything. But here, I think there is coffee in here, supposedly. No, I'm going to have to go to Ravine. And then I'm definitely going to be late. Alright, let's see here. So, what have we got here? Ah, there's coffee. We found it. There we are. I think I can use this. Thank you. Coffee. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think we're good. Alright, we got the coffee. We just need the oats now, which uh, should be in Jesse's hole. Let's quickly go in here. And I can't remember if there's a skillet in the farm also, but we need to go that way anyway. We might as well just grab the skillet and stuff here. So there's another pot though, so we don't need the pot. But is there a skillet here? That would be nice. Matches. Book. Uh, now there's a skillet, yeah. Uh, Guess that's it. There's a recipe here, Lily's pancake. We don't need need that though. Yeah, I guess that's that's it. I think it'll be okay going to Forsaken Airfield though with just two skillets and two pots because we can make the I think you make one porridge and one pancake at a time. So you can then um, you can make if I have two skills, it will take two two sessions, so to speak, which is fine. The old schoolhouse. All right, let's go to the farm here, and then we basically have the night to make it to a forsaken airfield. 
This will be interesting. We can make... If there is a skillet there, we can make... 12 pies. If there isn't... Then we can make 9. Both are fine. And we can make one coffee as well. One. Panting Will's Adventures. Now this is a long trek. It's much longer than Hopeless Rescue. The thing is also with in-game challenges like Hopeless Rescue. It's a bit different because you... In those ones like Hopeless Rescue, you're playing on Voyager difficulty. So you can find coffee in Trappers. In uh, the trailers, in Single of the Hill, and in Pleasant Valley Farm. You can find it all over the place. And you can find stims, you know, but we don't have any of that here. I need to burn some calories also. So I can actually eat these pies. Alright, we need to find the key. I don't need a pry bar anymore if I find that. Isn't it funny that all these pies I've been making still nowhere near, you know, doing this fast. <laughs> Let's see... Any key here? I don't think so. Factor, is there a key here? There is. Grab key. Well, getting attacked by the... Killer bunny here. Grab these. I'm so tired. I could just lay down right here. Or rather, this one. Don't think we need these, but might as well pick them up. All right, let's make a fire here. I don't remember if there is a skillet in here. Something's gotta go. But it doesn't really matter. Let's see. Is there a skillet or is this a pot? There's a pot. Oh wow, look. There's more coffee. Wow. Oh, how nice. We're gonna make a whole bunch of stuff in that case. And then we're gonna spend the rest of the time just running and running and running and running. Come on. Come on. And we'll take two skillets and two pots with us. And some cans. Two cans, I guess. Do I have two cans on me? Yeah, I do. Okay, let's put in that and that. I'm gonna place skillets. Place skillet. And place skillet. And I'll place the other pots here. Alright, so. Let's cook some peach, yeah, do the peach pie. So it reduces our carry weight as well. And then here, another peach pie. And then a rose pie. Oh. And now, oh, it's almost ready. <laughs> Make coffees here. Let's grab one of these. Quickly look around. That's for warmth. I oh, don't need it's too heavy. Oh, there is another skillet <laughs> up there, huh? I don't know if we need that though, because we're gonna make so many coffees. Oh, let's have a look. Red truck. Don't need any of this stuff. Flare we can take, that could be handy. Someone's stash. Kind of need more water, so let's grab this. And, uh... Yeah, I guess that's it. The wood will grab now on the way. See? Done, done. Done. And then we make one more of this. So then there's... Four left. 
And those are ready. And then we'll just put all of this stuff here. We don't need that. Eat one of these. Eat another one. And another one. Uh, I don't think this is worth... Did I? I don't know. Okay. These are warming up. And water wise, I think we're okay. We're gonna take two of these. Take one of these. For these to be ready. Take those. Grab that. And then we'll just wait for these to be ready. Let's eat another. Pie. And, uh, you know, it's not even that many actually. And what can we drop here of stuff? Don't need these anymore. At least not this many. Uh, drop that. Everything we don't need. We don't need salt. We don't really need this. We don't need that many of that either. Uh, let's see here. How many oils do we need? Like four spoons? Yeah, so we just leave like seven. And doubt we'll be needing this. Leave two of them behind. This we can harvest into that, and we can go. We can take those, grab all of this stuff, and now we can just run. Now we run. Now we just gotta make our way there and uh, survive, I guess. Yeah, and it's foggy, wow. Well, that's okay, I know the way. Do you know the way? I know the way. And it's still warm out. Still warm out, so this should be good. I don't like this fog though, especially because we're going to go into full and asking that, but I know where to go. Should be over here. Here. I don't think I picked up any more torches. I might have to do a lot of this with uh, just a, a torch or two. Would be nice if we can get a clear night or uh, not an aurora. An aurora would make this complicated because of the aurora walls. Let's Billy go down. Don't worry about sprains. Down, 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 the slope we go. Anything here? Express delivery coming through here. No time. We gotta make it to Forsaken Airfield by dawn. This is not a drill. <laughs> That's the torch. I'm gonna go this way because if there is a moose, I'd rather not run into it. Is there a moose? Let's eat one of these. Drink one of these. And a 
Let's keep running. Look how much energy we got. Fortunately, I'm like... My belly's full, so I can't really eat more of those things for a little while. But we got coffee, though. Double coffee and milk. How about that? Taking this route because I don't want to run into the moose. Okay, it's so gonna pick up some wood. Need to have this ready just in case. And now we're going to shoot more or less straight across. There's some wolves out on the ice. And the fog makes this a uh, bit annoying, actually. But I should be able to find it, no problem. And there's the wolf. Let's go this way so I don't have to deal with him. I believe I can find it in the fog. I mean, I can find it, but I mean, it's like... I believe I can find the fastest way. Once we get to Fallen Musky, though, it's pretty easy. Then you just gotta get down the slopes, once, and then you're on the tracks, and you just follow the tracks all the way there. But once you're in full of musky, it's pretty easy. Just gotta get there is all. If in doubt, go a bit more to the right, because uh, we'll find a wall. Express delivery coming through. I think this log is... Just the rabbits. Okay, so then it's here. I think. I think it's this way. I hope so. Oh no, this is... No, this is here. Okay. It's actually this way then. Go away, Wolfie. I think it's this way then. I, that was the other pack of rabbits. Close call there. Uh, am I actually lost? I think it's this way. So there's two, yeah, that is, that's it. Okay, I missed a little bit. The rabbits I saw, I fought with the rabbits more towards the, what should we call it? The hermit's cabin or whatever. But these were the rabbits out to the left of the Fallen Muskig entrance. Okay, onwards we go. And now, unless we get an aurora, we should be able to just run there. A little foggy. I do hope this fog clears. Fog usually doesn't last that long, like in my experience. When you play the long dark, um, Blizzards could last for a long time. Just repeat, repeat, repeat. Clear, clear day could also last the whole day. Usually doesn't, but it can. Uh, fog usually doesn't last that long, like three hours maybe. I guess something like that. Okay, now I just follow the edge here. I mean, there's many different routes we can take here, but we're going to take this route. All the way to the wall. There we are. I see even further. Then we just go down. Towards the tracks. And then I'm assuming that there actually are oats in Jesse's hovel. I haven't checked. <laughs> but I've been told by the other competitors that there's always there. There are two other places you find oats usually. And that's... Um, uh, 
the rural store in Pleasant Valley. I think that always has revolts. And um, what's the other one? The Orca Station, but I didn't have a pry bar to get in there. And uh, I think you can find it in Forsaken Airfield itself, like in the hangar. At least I found it there. I think I found it there anyway. Oh, hi, Wolfie. Okay, fog is lifting ever so slightly. And we have found the train tracks. So from here, it's pretty easy. Here, we just gotta <laughs> pretty much follow these train tracks all the way to Forsaken Airfield. Pretty much. All the way there. We go through Broken Railroad, through the branch line, through the hub, and then we gotta take the road. We'll probably Billy go down. Um, I think. Should be fine. Alright, I think we can eat another pie here. While we wait for this to recharge, drink a coffee as well. And another coffee. Why not? And now, look how much stamina we have. Run! We are getting cold though. Barely, but we are getting cold. So if I have to, I might have to stop and make a fire. And then I might have to heat up the rest of these coffees and so on. Hoping that won't be necessary, but if I run into a blizzard or something now, I kind of have to. It's only going to get colder now. So let's take the shortcut here, the landslide. There's not many wolves in the way now. There are not many. Um, there's one here, but he shouldn't be a problem. And then there is one or two that could be in the way here by the um, the maintenance yard. That could be an issue, I suppose. And then in the branch line, there shouldn't be uh, there might be one. There might be one wolf in the way. In you know, Forsaken Airfield, there's only really the wolves on the ice, I suppose. Okay, we're getting cold. That is a little bit of a problem, actually. That could slow us down a bit. But we'll just make a fire and warm up if, if we have to. Make some more pies if we need to. Go. Need to get as far as we can before we make a fire, though. I think we have to make a fire, yeah. Uh, actually, I think we do warm up in the branch line. Barely, though. But we do warm up there, but I think... Before we get there, I'm going to have to make a fire here. But if I don't, I'm going to take too much damage. And we might want to make these birch teas too. It will help a little bit with health. Because I don't have that much health. Yeah, here comes hypothermia risk. Oh, come on. That didn't work. That was really bad timing. Come on. Don't make me use birch bark now to make a fire. Oh, God. Okay, come on. Okay, fine, I guess we're doing this. <laughs> come on, come on. Should have brought even more in the... So much for the birch tea. Okay. Let's quickly put on a couple of coal Thank here. That. And let's make a tea circle. Uh, I don't think we can warm up pies, can we? 
No. At least I don't think so. Hmm. Actually, let me try. I, I never tried this before. No, oh, okay. Fine. <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> uh, anything else here? Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, this also we can. Or not. And we need some more uh, tinder. Can't risk it, so let's just grab some tinder. We're warming up very fast here, so this is fine. Okay, I think we're pretty close. Uh, just to be safe, why not? Let's grab some more. Going to pass time with, so as, we're as warm as possible. Okay, then I think we gotta go. We don't need all this flour. Look how much flour I got. Drop these. We're not gonna make any more pies anyway. Let's grab some torches as well. Ideally, tor good torches only. Grab some good ones. No. That's alright. Okay. The only matches, I don't need the chain torch, I can just light them again. Okay, let's go. Okay, we'll go now. Let's run. So we stopped there for half an hour or something, but we warmed up. And if the weather stays like this, I don't know if we actually even need to warm up again. Because uh, we can just uh, warm up naturally with the drinks and then there's a couple of warm places along the way. Not many though. A couple. We'll see though. See how this goes. I have my doubts if this actually will be doable in time. I don't remember exactly the time when I started also. Uh, the way it works timing wise is that once you cook the stuff, so there's four porridges, four pancakes, and um, four coffees. Once you've cooked them, just take them inside the cottage, the island cottage, and then it's done. What you can do is you can sleep for one hour, and then what they do is they retract one hour. So if I do it exactly at the 48 hour mark and then I sleep and then you see that it says, oh, I took two days and, you know, five minutes, then actually it was one day and 23 hours and five minutes. Is this because that's how you save? Alternatively, you can step on the fire. That's what I was going to do, but <laughs> might kill me, I suppose. And I'm going to take some wood. I don't think we need too much of it, though. All right, let the running commence. Uh, let's do this one. Gives a lot of uh, warmth back. Yeah. And I think this tunnel, you're actually warm in this tunnel, I think. Yeah, I think maybe. No, you're not. Okay. Mega torch. I'll take that. Mega torch. That's uh, a term coined by D. H. Dunn. That's a crowbar. We don't need that anymore. At least I think he's the one who came up with it. I know I've noticed it before. You should check him out on Twitch. He's a great streamer. He's also one of my mods. And he's one of the four hobbits of the Long Dark. There are four streamers called the Hobbits in the Long Dark, which is D.H. Dunn, Cora and Fizzle, um, Very Tiny Burb, and Killer Tuna 44, which I believe now is called the Peach Bee. Uh, I think we might make this. Let's see. 
there's one wolf in the way, which is typically the wolf that is by the train cart. And then I don't know, there might be a wolf in the way, forsaken airfield. I don't know if we're going to loot anything, I don't need anything now, other than the oats. But they should be in Justice Hole. Okay, sprint tattoo. I don't think there'll be oats in there, will there be? <laughs> We're gonna take the shortcut over the landslide over here. Oh my god, really? Oh my god. No. I'm not going back for a pry bar. I'm just gonna take the normal route then. Fine, fine. <laughs> you can take a shortcut there over the landslide. It's really not difficult at all. But I didn't... <laughs> I couldn't remember you needed a pry bar to get uh, through there. That's uh, a detail I had forgotten about. Oh well. We'll just take this route then. We'll be warmer this way at least. It's only marginally faster to do it over the landslide. But it is worth doing it, of course. I just didn't remember. And I was like, ah, we don't need the pry bar. Click, 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 click. I've been there several times, but I just I couldn't remember that you needed the pry bar to get there. Okay, so we'll lose uh, 20 minutes in-game or something from this. That's all right. We're getting a little bit of warmth, at least. This cave isn't very big. Brick layers, uh, no plate layers shortcut. I don't think we need the coal, but we'll take the ones we walk over. It's not a very long cave, so it's not a big deal, I guess. But if we don't make it in time, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a bit annoying. Eh, Bobby. Eh, eh, eh. First time I was here, I didn't really know that you could uh, go down there. I was like, how do you get there? So there's this little passage that's easy to miss. Okay, here we are at the exit already, I think. There we are. It's not the worst. Like if I had taken, if I had a pry bar, I would have been past there by now. So uh, I did lose. I don't know. Twenty minutes in game or something from that. I don't know. But at least I warmed up. I suppose. And now there is a potential wolf in the way here by these train carts. Run. Lots of sprinting to be done. Here, yeah, there's a wolf. Okay, time to eat the pie. You know, I made a lot of pies this run. A lot of pies. Uh, I, didn't, I lost track, so we lost. We made nine there, right? We made nine there uh, in the farm. We made three in Signal Hill, and we made um, three in Pleasant Valley, and three in um, by the deer, right? So that's. 18 pies. So I made 18 pies. 
Plus, I found a coffee at the end. There. So there's 18, and I found a coffee too. So that's six, seven. So seven coffees and 18 pies. That's 25 units of caffeine boost. And having that, if you had that in the beginning of the run, oof, you just sail through this channel, sail through it. So, of course, the, the sacrifice, you know, was to level up. And it's interesting, you know, imagine I was an actual delivery person. Someone said, hey, I'm ordering breakfast for four people in Forsaken Airfield in two days. And I'm like, all right, just uh, let me level up cooking first. And it's no problem. <laughs> okay, I'm banking on that being... Uh, Oats now in Justice Hole. If not, we're screwed. Might be also in um, in the hangar though, but uh, I don't think so. I mean, we could drop by the hangar, I suppose. It's kind of on the way. We can get oats there too. <clears throat> Such a long journey there to a second airfield. But therein lies the fun, or the reward, rather. I think we'll actually make this, but whether we make it, also have to cook it, which takes a little time. Let's go. I'm also shift sprinting, by the way, which is a technique. That you can use in speedrunning, which is that instead of holding shift down, you very gently tap it. A better explanation for how that works you can find in my Hunted Part 2 tutorial. But basically it means that you hold it down and you let go every now and then, and, as, and then kind of like the momentum of the character carries, carries you a couple steps further before you do some more sprint. So it's just a way to just, you sprint slightly further with it. Now, I believe that while I was recording this, because this is multiple segments, while I was recording this video, I believe they changed the tournament rules for this. Now, I'm not a participant, so it doesn't really matter, but I believe they changed it so that you can't actually use the sprint shift technique. And that's because there's also something called crab walking in the game, which is when Instead of walking forward, you walk diagonally, like kind of like this. And when you do that, you actually walk slightly faster than if you go normal. It's only a few percent faster, but it is faster, and that can be exploited. And I'm not sure exactly how it works, but you can attach a controller to the game. And with a controller, you can actually move even faster diagonally, very strangely. So as a result of that, they changed the rule, and I think they said you're not allowed to uh, do that crab walking thing. You're not allowed to do rope skips or rope jumps, sorry, where you jump off a cliff and grab a rope, which is very high risk, but saves a lot of time. Uh, or like sprint, sprint shifting. I'm not sure what the term of it, uh, but I am going to ignore that. I you know, my feet. So, also, I kind of feel like if you do, if you're doing a time against. If you're doing a speedrun challenge, then pretty much everything that allows you to do things faster should perhaps be allowed. I'm going to make a fire. Because it's getting kind of cold. And we need to make sure that we don't freeze. I have very little health. If I had full health, I would just say, eh, push on forward. But I don't. So we need to pretty well. use these two. Uh, I don't think I can cook anything at all, can I? Not really. Could have killed the Tom again. <laughs> okay, we got four coffees left. That's good. that too. Uh, let's just do this. Is that an Aurora? Nope, but it's a clear night. 
It's midnight, or at least it's a clear day. Hmm. <laughs> um, let's see. I think I want to just, while it heats up, just eat this. And then eat this. Now we've eaten all of our pies. We still have our coffees. So I'm gonna drink one now. I not finish drinking that coffee or something because that was just weird. And I think maybe the wind is picking up, isn't it? Yeah. So I think I'm gonna keep going in a second. Let's see. Uh. What, uh... Yeah, we're quite light here, so I think we're okay. Alright, let's grab a torch. Grab all of these. And let's run. Onwards we go, my dear friends. Onwards. Got an express delivery here of uh, Forsaken Breakfast. A la Zach. Secret ingredient. The secret ingredient is... Mushrooms. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Must have not finished drinking a coffee. Yeah. Drink it now then. Yeah, yeah warm it up a bit. Then we have the long walk of the second airfield in front of us. Fortunately, we can take the shortcut down to the hangar, and I think I'll check the hangar. It's practically on the way to Justice Hall, and you can find oats there, so why not? Is the wind against me? I think it kind of is. It's kind of hard to tell. I think it is, yeah. The meats are full, but at least when we run, we burn calories. So we should be good still. All right, we made it Forsaken Airfield. Let's see if we can make this breakfast in time. I could go up here, the shortcut. I could do that. But I can't be bothered. I know how to get up there. But then the next step, which is uh, a bit further up, I've never actually tried doing that. I've only seen how that's done. So now is not the time to try those sort of things. We have breakfast to deliver, you see. Breakfast. All right. Now we just got to do this long walk. We definitely made more than enough pies and whatnot. Let's uh, drink. Yeah, they're rice I think. I mean, roll sip. Let's sprint. Look how fast we're going. I once uh, did a speed run of episode four in Long Dark. I did it only once, and it went pretty well. I think it was a good speed run. I remember showing it to Hintelin. And the raft said, not even going to look at it. I'm not going to see someone break through uh, what we spent ages making in an hour. <laughs> and I totally get that. I find speedruns fascinating cause I've, uh, to watch, I mean, because I find it so fascinating to see how far people can push a game. How, to what degree of mastery people can go. So, for example, a game like Half-Life, which for like has been speedrun for like 20 years, and people keep finding new things to do, and just go faster and faster. When I was uh, like 10, 15 years ago, I don't know, and actually close to 20 years ago, the world record for Half-Life 1 was like 47 minutes to complete the game. I remember watching it while I had music on in the background. Now it's like 27 or something. It's like really fast. But anyway, it's uh, I find it fascinating to watch if it's a game that I know. But uh, yeah, like I said before, I don't I can't be able to grind these things. Uh, I might try a trick or two. I might 
give it a go once to see how fast I can do something. Give it an attempt or two, but then, eh, that's it. I do hopeless rescue as fast as I can. Well, made a mistake, realized a few things. Uh, let's do it one more time. And then I think that's it. All right. <clears throat> It's a clear day also, so we can see our target. Here is the hangar. Here's Forsaken Airfield itself, the airport, right there. And our cabin is over there. We need to go there. We're going to take this route down. Instead of going the long way, we're going to go this way. Uh, should be like this, I think. Did I go wrong? Hmm. I think I did go wrong, yeah. That wasn't that wasn't how you're supposed to do it, but it worked. It was meant it was more to the right. Yeah, not not where I went. I'm just so used to goating everywhere because I I just wing it. There's not that, actually that many places where I know exactly where to go. I just kinda just go somewhere. Like right now I'm doing that. I'd gone down here before, but eh. I figured like there must be a path. I just this kind of seems intuitive, so I'll just do it. So here we are. Do you have any warmth? No. Here we are, down at the river. Now we just run to the airport. Run, run, run. Shouldn't be any uh, wolves here. Let's do this express delivery. 48 hour guarantee, plus minus. Only delivered by our expert delivery people from Planet Express who first take cooking lessons before delivery. We will travel the wasteland for you to bring you the best quality. We deliver exact Exactly as promised. So that does it. Uh, sack delivery. We deliver exactly as promised. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we only produce. Sakna Fine Dining. Oh my god, that was a terrible one. Okay, so uh, let's uh, change topic and go here. So here we are at the hangar. So, this is pretty much on the way there, so we might as well drop by. Warm up a little bit. Can I actually get over here? I don't know if you can. I don't think you can, no. No, okay, around we go. Wolves. And we go in here and we'll check. But I think that uh, you can find oats in here. In the kitchen, which I think is upstairs. Oh, not actually warm here. How about that? Oh, here we are. Barely, though. Uh, this is the kitchen. Yeah, so here we got the recipe for that one. We don't need that. Uh, oats, oats, any oats, salt, no oats, okay, this one I found oats there once, maybe it wasn't here, maybe it was somewhere else, let's just quickly see if the dead rabbit's in the shower, Oh. alright, I guess in that case, this is the oats are downstairs, I don't think so though, Trying to remember. Pretty sure I found oats here. I just don't remember exactly where I found it. By all means, I could be going past it right now, but. Oh well. Should maybe warm up here as well. We got still a little bit of a trek in front of us. Let's just warm up here quick. Yeah, why not? Use the birch park. That did it. Eh, 
I got so much coal. How many torches? Eh, a couple. Okay. Alright. Good enough. Let's go. That was 15 in-game minutes, and that's fine. I could have sworn I found Ulta. Maybe it wasn't here, maybe it was somewhere else. Oh, I bet you it was in Mindful Cabin or something I found it. I don't know. Not in here. I know it was in this region. Anyway, let's go to Jossie's Hovel. It's this way. I have to go all the way around. Okay, I guess it's that bad of weather, huh? Let's warm up as much as we can. There's a rope over there. I, I, actually, is the rope attached? I don't think it is. I think you have to touch it yourself. Think, but I don't think it's worth taking anyway. I mean, it's just over here, and then over there is our cabin in Drift Island. Two routes we can take. The wind is against us, but it will be with us when we go to the island. It seems. Dawn is on its way, but I think we started just after dawn, but nevertheless, as long as we can deliver breakfast in the morning, I think we call this a success. With sack delivery. Sack the fine diamond. Sack the fine diamond. Exactly as you wish. Oh, it's further, isn't it? What was over here, but it's actually further. All right, onwards we go. I think I have the wind in my back now, don't I? Drink a herbal tea. Barely warm up anything. Oh, as long as I have the health to get there, it's fine. I think it's actually faster to go the back entrance. Up there. I don't know if I ever approached Justice Hour from this angle before. Can we even go up here? I don't know. I'm hoping you can. Now we have to go further up. Looks like you can't. Or can you? My fingers feel numb. Okay, you can. Up here is just this hole. It's usually a wolf around here too. Okay, they warm us up a bit more. We have one drink left, but that's all right. As long as we can get there, should be here. Yeah, I think. There is the doggy. And here it is. Here's Justy's hole. So supposedly there's oats in here. And if there isn't, I know I'm blaming. But uh, if not, we'll just make something else that's nice for breakfast. Because I'm not doing this again. <laughs> the fun little community challenge to try out. But uh, yeah. It's limits to how many times I'm going to try these things. Let's see here. Okay, here we can at least warm up. Where is the delivery guy? We were expecting breakfast. Oh, he's just having a little detour. Alright, let's see. Oats! I think I can use this. They told the truth. Let's just very quickly 
make a fire here. I need to warm up a little bit before I head out. And then I think we just have to hope we can get there. Um, without dying, so to speak. That didn't work. I need to make some tinder. I need to make at least two fires when I'm there. Oh come on! So this is this is why I said I need to make more tinder anyway. A lot of failed fires this run. A lot of failed fires. I, I lost track of how many, but it's a lot. Oh my I god! What do I mean? Trying to warm up here, you know. Come on. Why was my breakfast Come late? On. Well, because. Uh, the f delivery man couldn't start a fire. All right, it's done. Yeah, and then we have this to heat up. I don't think, you and then we could actually very quickly do this. This warms us right up. Do that. Do this. That's a long time. I'm sure, that's worth it. But uh, we can uh, do this. We need some more tinder. Because I'm not trusting that it messes up. Drop these. Oh, I have three skillets, so I don't need that. I don't think. Drop that. Okay, grab a torch. Grab a better torch, and let's go. We got our oats. Where did you get the oats, they wonder? Oh, just like this cabin that was right there. Okay, we have no more sprint boosts. But that's okay. We have a lot left, so... Now we just gotta get to Drift Island. Shouldn't be too hard. And then we need to make this stuff and serve it. I think we'll probably be slightly late. I think the sun was just over the horizon when I started this run. So it looks like I'm gonna make it in... Instead of 48 hours, it's gonna be like 50. I also have to make the stuff. Tell you what, that's alright though. Blame the landslide. Let's drink this. This heats us up. Nice and warm. Let's go. On to Drift Island we go. To deliver breakfast of kings. Our oh, full porridge. And four pancakes and four coffees. Who's coming for dinner? Is it the four hobbits? Is that what this is for? The four horsemen. I think it's f faster to go just the angle I'm at. Is it faster to go through the back? I think it is faster, yeah. To go this way that I'm going now. I think it is faster. Bring this. Barely warms anything, but does nevertheless still warm. Okay. Let's run. Like your life depended on it. Like breakfast depended on it. Such a long 
Long trek there. I think it is faster. Not sure though. <laughs> It is that way right there, but I think because the angle I'm at, I think this is actually slightly faster. I don't think I'll die now, even if I got cold now, because of the distance that's left. Just eat this too. And that's it of our hot food. Use this for one extra warmth boost. One last sprint. Oh, it's getting foggy. But it should be this way. It's a long, long journey. No, I regret taking this way because I can't see. But it should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. I think maybe the other route would have been faster, actually. In hindsight. Oh well. I think I just barely won't manage. I don't remember exactly what time of day it was when I started. I think the sun was like completely off the horizon. Which would be like, I don't know, an hour in game from now or something. And I think it's going to take longer than that to cook the stuff, I think. If I had four skillets control. and four pots, I could maybe do it. Which I did find, actually, but I thought it was a bit overkill to bring that many. So, uh, I think I actually just barely won't make it. In which case, I'll blame the landslide. And I'm gonna get cold now. But I, I shouldn't die. Because I should be able to... Uh, warm up when I get there. But you can't say this isn't determination to deliver breakfast to some f four people who live on this island. Travel across all the great bear. you will learn cooking, loot everywhere, find everything. Freezing. Just to deliver this breakfast to people. I don't even know if you can go up there. You can. I'm coming with your breakfast. I'm almost there. I am so close. I hear ptarmigans. Your breakfast is around the corner. There's the dreaded snow shelter that uh, almost killed me one time. And then up here it should be. I don't think I need these, but... In case. And here we are. The old island cottage. We made it. All this way. All this way. And now we have to cook breakfast so it's nice and fresh. Which we can do here. Go. I'll put two things on here. Come on. I don't know what takes the longest, but I'm assuming the pancakes do. All right, there we go. Fire's life out here. Put the two skillets on here. Actually, put one of each. And then uh, make some pancakes. I don't know how long that took. It didn't seem like it took that long to me. And how's it? Oh, this makes three. Oh, wow, that's actually almost done. This actually doesn't take long like to make it at all. He's already ready. Wow. Just need four pancakes. There's three in there, so that was easy. Okay. Unless it was four portions. I don't think so, though. I need to make coffees as well. 
I think it's just four pancakes. I don't think it's four portions of pancakes. Pretty sure it's four pancakes. Turned out pretty well. Make the coffee. Wind's picking up, but okay. Make porridge. Guess we don't need a double skillet. <laughs> Porridge. Grab that, grab that. Make the coffees, make the coffees. Let's go serve this. So, you can put it anywhere, but you mean, you gotta look, make it look nice, right? So, put the pancakes. Actually, no, I think it is four portions of pancakes. That would make more sense. I think we do need the skillets, yeah. That's alright. They don't take very long to make. Those are done. And that's done. So how many have, got, have I got? So in there there's two pancakes, one porridge. And I need one more porridge, one more pancake. There we are. Done. So one more pancake then. I think that's it. Prep time is what eats up the time. I assume this is how it's done. We have porridge. We have coffee. One more leech. And this done, and that's it. I think you actually managed there. And there, breakfast is served, my lords and ladies. <laughs> We managed. And now we just sleep for one hour. And then we just see what time it was. So now you, what you do is you go on the menu and then you just... Uh, oh, we, we did it. Yeah. Because <laughs> now it's two days, 32 minutes. Two days, 32 minutes. But we slept for an hour and the time counts from before you slept. So I made it in one day, 23 hours and 33 minutes I think would be the correct thing so yeah we just barely managed to do it but we did it we served breakfast in Forsaken Airfield in under 48 hours and I just barely made it but considering I made the stupidest tactic ever that was a weird way to do it to level up cooking and just spamming those rosehip pies but I mean it worked though which is the funny part. So to do this challenge in 48 hours or less, I was able to deliver the breakfast that was ordered using this really bizarre tactic. I was a bit lucky though to find two um, coffees, but I think what I would have done is if I hadn't found a second coffee, I would have put a skillet on and made another batch and it would have amounted to roughly the same. So yeah, we, we got it. We got the breakfast. Uh, if you wanted to do this challenge yourself, you don't have to do it this way. You could just go straight there and hope you find coffee. 
and uh, as long as you have moderate luck you should be able to do it just fine in 48 uh, hours it's not that hard or you can do it the way I did it I'm sure the way I did it can be polished to be way more efficient but I have to take some pride in I, I can't believe this tactic actually worked it's very silly but I just thought it'd be fun to try I can't believe that I spent the first part of this challenge just going up to Ash Canyon and getting skillets and and then, then the, the wolf killed the deer and I leveled up level 3 and started making pies but it worked I got there in less than 48 hours just under but I got it and it's morning so it's perfect time for breakfast isn't that nice you put yeah that's fine there we are little candlelit dinner candlelit dinner all right. Okay, survivors. Thank you for watching. That was an unusual one, I must say. But it was fun to try once. I don't think I'm going to grind this again to improve it. For It's a fun and clever community challenge. I thought it was kind of cool. I fancied giving it a go. But it's not the sort of challenge that I'm going to, you know, commit time to, to make better and better. But if you do, if you try this challenge, please let me know in the comments how you did and how you did it. Because I would love to know, especially if you do it this weird way that I did it. But even whatever way you do it, I would love to hear from you, uh, whether you were in the tournament or not. I'm not in the tournament. I did it for the fun of it. But yeah, this was really uh, fun to try. If you watched all this way... Thank you so much, and uh, you are awesome. And remember, next time on Fedora or whatever, make sure you order from Sack Food Delivery, extra Sacknifying Dining, delivered at exactly the right time. And that's where you'll find me. <laughs> All right, survivors, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.